Nothing will save you more time in Excel than learning the shortcut keys. Simple but very useful shortcut here indeed. Say I'm a bit slap happy and I mistakenly delete all of those values. All I need to do is Control Z for undo. Control Z for undo. Now if I decide actually I did want to do that, after all, redo is Control Y. So that's undo, Control Z, redo, Control Y. A really quick way of putting totals and subtotals onto a table of numbers is the shortcut key ALT equals. ALT equals, pick up everything above and you can hit enter. But what if we had filtered the data and just had a few on there? That will give you necessarily the wrong answer. But again, if you use the shortcut key on filtered data, it automatically detects you want a subtotal nine, which will only sum, sum what is showing. So there you go. To navigate around an Excel sheet without a mouse, use the arrow keys with either Control or Shift, depending on what you want to do. So Control up moves to the top of your selection. Control right to the end of it. Control down, Control left, Control up again. But if you hold down Shift, you highlight as you go. Control to the right, highlights to the right. Control down, highlights everything down. Control left, highlights back up there. And then Control up in this case would do that. Now, if you are outside of data areas and you do this, Control right will take it all the way to the end of the spreadsheet. And Control left will take you to the nearest data. And that works in all directions. Control down, Control up. Again, control up. Also, if you hit control home, you go to the top left of the spreadsheet and control end will go to the last populated cell on the spreadsheet. But will also, if a cell has previously been populated, it will also highlight that. Again, control shift home will highlight to there. And then you can then go control shift left Control shift down to highlight that area. Once you've done control home, you can also do control end to get everything highlighted. Okay, so you're in an Excel sheet. Click anywhere in the sheet outside of data and hit control A. You will select the entire sheet. Now, if you are in a data table and you push control A, you will just select that data. So that in itself is useful. Now, if you want to cut, it's Control X. And then you can come over here and paste, which is Control V. Now, say I wanted to copy it, this is Control C, and paste it back again. There's a copy. So I can then copy that again and move down here and this time if I do alt control v I get the spaced paste special box come up now any letter that is underlined on this you can select by just pressing that letter so you can see for example that v for values if I select v that will go straight to values I can push tab to move to the different sections such as Pressing a B there will skip blanks. Pushing it again, incidentally, will get rid of that. And then the button that's highlighted at the moment is OK. Uh, but I could move to cancel, for example, but I won't. I'll move back to OK and then I can hit enter. And there's my pasted values. You can go from sheet to sheet in Excel by clicking control page down to move to the sheet one to the right or control page up to move one to the left. I hope you found something new in amongst all those shortcut keys. I've pulled together this one page cheat sheet of all the everyday essential Excel shortcuts. 
I'm giving this away today completely free. Just click on the link and I'll send you this straight away. Don't waste any more time in Excel. Get this free cheat sheet right now. Click the link.